Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you. Now the next step is to run Arc Installer. Now for this you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files and then over here, uh, sorry, here you can see Arc Installer, make a right click, then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow and then click on OK and if not installed it will install it for you and then you can check. If that does not work, open launcher from the game installation folder and then launch the game. Now here you can see fellowship launcher, make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. Now this will launch the launcher and once the launcher is up and running, you can click on play and then launch the game from the launcher. Still not working. The next step is to, if beta version of the game is installed in computer, you can uninstall it. Also uninstall the Arc launcher from the beta and then check. If that does not work, uninstall Arc and then launch the game it will reinstall while launching now for this uh, let me close the game for uh, let me close the launcher for now now for this uh, you have to go to windows settings and then you have to go to apps and then you have to go to apps and features or install apps and let me close the launcher now over here uh, you can see arc over here arc you have to click on this three dot and then click on uninstall uninstall Click on yes to allow and then are you sure you want to completely remove arc and arc and all of its component click on yes and then do you want to remove games that arc has also downloaded select no and let the uninstall complete once uninstalled now you can launch the game and when you launch the game and during the launch it will here you can see it will install arc once again and this process will take some time and here you can see checking for update initializing update let this update complete everything complete then you should be able to launch the game next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so if you are unable to launch the game from steam manage browse local files and then you can open this fellowship folder binaries win64 and then you can make a double click over here and then try to launch the game and then check. So let me close the launcher for now. And here you can see the game exe file. You can just make a double click and you can launch the game from here. So it actually uh, launches the launcher and then you can click on play and then check. If that does not work, make a right click and then go to properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator over here hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work go to properties once again this time you can put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work you can even try windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working you can even put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program and if you're using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow Click on add and allowed app, browser apps, and then go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive program file 686. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Now open the game folder. And then select all the exe file, Arc installer as well. And then browse, select this fellowship and then fellowship launcher again browse all apps and then open this fellowship folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now once added now type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel click on uh, system and security windows defender firewall over here and then allow an app or features to windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select all the exe file over here
in my case it is already added again click on allow other app click on browse and then select this fellowship launcher as well and then allow another app click on browse and then open the fellowship folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open and then click on add now you can launch the game now you have to do the same thing if you have any third party antivirus program like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you are using you have to allow all the exe file to antivirus program next step is to verify the game file now go to steam maker right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is done launch the game and then check next step is to rename the config folder when you rename the config folder all saved settings will be lost now to rename the config folder you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive open users folder open your username folder open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder open the fellowship folder save folder here you can see config folder make a right click and then you can rename it once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work rename the complete save game files create a backup first because you will lose all the account saves and the save game progress will be lost so for this go to the same location uh, this is the location and then you have to create a backup copy this folder fellowship and then you can paste to the desktop create a backup first once you have a backup created now you can make a right click and then rename this save game files you have to start everything from scratch though now once done you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website i'm showing for nvidia select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find now on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver so whichever is the latest graphic card driver you can install the latest g force game ready driver and then click on view and then click on download let the download complete now once the download is complete you can run the exe file when you run the exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok and then you will see the screen and it will detect your graphic card over here and then over here click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next after the clean installation is done restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings over here and then click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file uh, you have to open this fellowship folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add now scroll down find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game over here and select high performance and then relaunch the game and then check next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so make a right click on the game properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 over here launch the game and then check still not working remove this follow the next step now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this uh, you can go to microsoft website go to the official website and over here you can see visual studio 2015 to 22 download this x86 and x64 and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both the files are installed once installed you have to restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now once control panel is open now you can go to hardware and sound go to power options over here if you see power saver like this you have select power saver and then relaunch the game you can even go for balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then check now still not working uh, then 
turn on or turn off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this, you can open uh, or type in graphics settings in Windows search box. Click on graphics settings and then click on advanced graphics settings. Now if advanced graph accelerate, sorry, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on, relaunch the game and then check. Now if it is already on, you can turn it off, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now for this, you can go to Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Over here, you will see a check for update option. You can cl click on check for update. And once uh, everything is updated over here, now restart you can view. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have HOTAS, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnected. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a record in the game, select properties. Turn off the op option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then check. If you have any other overlay application like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, go to Nvidia app settings, turn off overlay. Do not overclock. Set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner, anything running. Close it. Close all the third party application and services. If you have undervolted, you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. To increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here. And then under advanced, click on settings, the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here. You have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed. Make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size. And we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option. And over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes. So you have to calculate as per your RAM. And if you face any problem, we can always revert back to the settings. So do not worry about it. So for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total, total RAM in megabyte. For initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5. That is 24576. For maximum size, it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024. In my case, 16384 megabyte, then three times multiplied three. That is for maximum size, it's 49152 in my case. And then you have to click on set. Set is important. Make sure that you hit set and then click on OK and then OK. Okay, now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work. Then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings. Go to settings over here, click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set. Set is important. Click on OK. Click on OK over here. Hit apply. Click on OK. OK. You will see restart option. Restart your computer and then check. Still not working, we will revert to default. So you can type in view advanced system settings once again. Settings, advance, change, and put a check on this box and then hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, uh, restart the computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, Try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.